Birdman here with some strategies on how to complete the Golgoroth encounter in Destiny 2's Pantheon Gauntlet. Now the way you're going to start this is by shooting the little Taken Blight that is on the ceiling in the front of the room to begin the encounter. Once you do that, you'll essentially have your team split up into two groups of three on either side and just do simple add clear until the Hive Knights spawn in the middle part of the room. Once both sides knight is down, the little taken blight will spawn in the front left part of the room for you to begin DPS once you shoot it down and get inside the pool. Now before we talk about the DPS phase, let's talk about the gaze takers and what their job is in this encounter. You will have two of your guardians kind of stay back on that middle part of the catwalk and look for a yellow blob on the back of Golgoroth's neck to shoot to steal his gaze. By doing this, it will expose Golgoroth's stomach and essentially have him aggro whoever has the gaze so that the rest of the team can shoot Golgoroth and do damage. Best practice is to essentially stand behind your team on top of the catwalk so that Golgoroth has his stomach exposed to your team and not attacking them at the moment. While this is happening though, he will be shooting you with a bunch of Axian darts that will poison you over time if they hit you. So make sure you have a solid weapon out that can take out those in a fast and efficient matter of time. But another new part of this encounter is the fact that you'll have taken Minotaurs spawning in at this time that will be attacking you as well. So make sure you're having a solid heavy weapon on to take them out as fast as humanly possible so you can swap back and worry about those Axian darts. You'll have a little countdown in your bottom left buff timer, essentially letting you know how long you have this gaze. Once you get down to the last three seconds, your other teammate needs to be able to shoot the back of Golgoroth's neck and then also steal gaze as well. If you do this efficiently enough, essentially each gaze taker is going to have three phases where they're going to have to steal gaze and stand behind their team so that they can do damage. Now, for those who are going to be down in the pool, you'll have only a certain amount of time to shoot Golgoroth within said pool before you need to move on to a different blight around the room. Essentially, it's going to have a zigzagging pattern going from left one to right one to left two to right two to left three and then finally at right three. Be mindful, though, of the unstable light debuff that will affect two of your teammates that are down in the pool. You'll be able to know this because you'll get a little debuff in your side left bar and your screen will also turn green. You'll need to run out of the pool so that you don't detonate on your teammates and instead you will explode at Golgoroth instead doing massive amounts of damage. This should be a pretty simple process doing six different times and if you don't defeat Golgoroth within that amount of time, simply rinse and repeat until you are back to that first bubble again. Now in regards to weapons and armor you should be bringing into this encounter, I recommend something that's really solid add clear like a sunshot and then also taking advantage of Destiny 2's into light event to get a succession or edge transit for your DPS phase. Now exotic armor that I recommend bringing into this for hunters, I would say Celestial Nighthawk or Star Eater Scales so that they get you best advantage out of your golden gun. For Warlocks, Apotheosis Veil and Phoenix Protocol are really good for your Well of Radiance. And then for Titans, maybe just something that's good for your ad clear, like a Heart of Inmost Light, or maybe the Ursa Furiosa so that you can do a little bit of defense for your team. Now, if you beat Golgoroth within the bonus time, you will get the Platinum Rank, awarding you a Adept Level Weapon, as well as your Spoils of Conquest and one Raid Armor Piece and one Raid Weapon. For more tips for the other encounters happening for Destiny 2's Pantheon Gauntlet, check the description down below. And for all your Destiny 2 tips, keep it here on IGN.